From the majestic palaces of Saudi Arabia to the emerald waters of the Persian Gulf, Middle Eastern royalty is renowned for its luxury and opulence. As the wealthiest Arab kings in the world, these leaders are no exception. In this video, we will dive deep into the lives and net worths of these titans of wealth, exploring the sources of their vast riches and how they use their fortunes. Whether you want to gain insight into the secrets of success or just live vicariously through the extravagance of these kings, you're sure to leave this video with a newfound appreciation for the world's richest Arab kings. King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia is known for his luxurious lifestyle and vast wealth. He is the king of Saudi Arabia, reigning since 2015 and served as prime minister of Saudi Arabia from 2015 to 2022. Due to his old age and declining health, his son, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, is considered the de facto ruler. He has an an estimated net worth of over $25 billion and is the chairman of the Council for Economic and Development Affairs, which is responsible for the nation's economic and development policy. Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS, owns the world's most expensive painting, Salvatore Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci, priced at a staggering $450.3 million. And that's not all. He also owns the Louis XIV Chateau in France, which was termed the world's most expensive home by Fortune magazine in 2017. This royal and stunning mansion is worth an eye-watering $300 million. Another resplendent yet exorbitant addition to his extravagant lifestyle is his yacht named Serene that MBS bought in 2015. He spent a jaw-dropping $689 million for this one. Well, even though he has gold-plated cars and furniture, along with all of that billions worth of splurging, the Crown Prince and First Deputy Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, also uses his wealth and power for many good purposes. The dynamic crown prince has opened up the country to foreign investment, implemented reforms to modernize the Saudi economy, and launched several development projects, including the $500 billion Neom Megacity project. Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah of Brunei is renowned for his lavish lifestyle and immense wealth. As the Sultan and Prime Minister of Brunei, he is among the wealthiest individuals in the world with an estimated net worth of an astronomical $30 billion. He resides in the Istana Nur al-Iman, the largest residential palace in the world, spanning 2 million square feet and holding the record for the world's largest palace in the Guinness Book of World Records. His personal collection of cars and aircrafts is estimated to be worth over $341 billion. How many cars does the Sultan have? Not 50, not 100. He has 7,000 cars. Five of his most expensive supercars are the Bentley Dominator, costing $4.6 million, the Ferrari Testarossa F90 Speciale, the BMW Nazca M12, the McLaren F1 LM Collection with a dizzying price tag of $60 million, and the Ferrari F40 worth $5 million. He also has a dream fleet of 600 Rolls Royces and 309 Ferraris. The Sultan is known not just for his cars, but also for his grand lifestyle, spending lavishly on luxury items such as jewelry and properties in the United Kingdom. He's also known for his lavish parties, often held in his palace, and it has been known to have spent as much as $27 million on a single event. And that's not it. He spends about $20,000 on a haircut. The Sultan of Brunei also bought himself a Boeing 747 aircraft priced at a casual $400 million and gifted his daughter an Airbus A340 for one of her birthdays. He's also known known for his extravagant spending on his family members, with some estimates suggesting he has spent billions of dollars on his relatives. Well, if this is true, then we all wish we had wealthy relatives with a big heart like Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah. With a personal net worth of around $30 billion and family wealth estimated to be in excess of $150 billion, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed al Nayyan, is considered the de facto ruler of the United United Arab Emirates. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan, the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, enjoys a luxurious lifestyle that is portrayed in his impressive collection of exotic cars, luxurious residences, private jets, and yachts. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan is known to travel in style and has been spotted with numerous supercars, such as the Bugatti Veyron and the Ferrari Enzo. He also owns a Rolls Royce drophead, one of only 10 in the world. He has a huge collection of luxurious cars and he 
built a huge pyramid garage in the desert that can hold the entire collection. The huge structure has multiple levels and is filled with almost every type of luxury car that exists. He also enjoys sailing and his yacht, the Azam, is the world's largest and most expensive yacht with a price tag of over $600 million. And that's not the only yacht he owns. He has many more yachts worth millions of dollars. The Crown Prince owns numerous properties across the world. In addition, his lavish lifestyle extends to the skies as he owns several private jets, including a Gulfstream G650ER, an Airbus A340-500 and a Boeing 737 BBJ. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan's luxurious lifestyle also extends to his philanthropy. He is an active philanthropist, contributing to numerous causes and initiatives around the world, including the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan Foundation, which focuses on improving the lives of disadvantaged people in the Middle East. He also focuses on the growth of UAE and has pledged $15 billion towards the development of solar wind and hydrogen power technologies in the UAE. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum is the Prime Minister and Vice President of the United Arab Emirates, as well as the hereditary ruler of the Emirate of Dubai. He is one of the world's richest Arab kings, having an estimated net worth of over $14 billion. Sheikh Mohammed is known for his progressive and ambitious vision for Dubai, transforming the city from a desert backwater to one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. Under his leadership, Dubai has become a global hub for finance, trade, and technology. The king lives a life of extraordinary extravagance. He is the owner of some of the world's most luxurious mansions, yachts, and cars. He has an impressive collection of vehicles, including a custom-made Bugatti Veyron and a Lamborghini Aventador. He also owns one of the world's most famous racehorses, Dubai Millennium. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has an opulent lifestyle that extends beyond his collection of cars and horses. He enjoys a fleet of private jets and often vacations aboard his $400 million yacht named Dubai. The Al Maktoums love the skies as much as they love the seas. The royal family of Dubai bought 40 Boeing 78710 Dreamliners at the Dubai Air Show for an astounding $15.1 billion. These planes were bought for the Middle East Airlines Emirates, which is owned by King Sheikh Mohammed bin Al Rashid Maktoum. He also has many private jets. The Al Maktoums own a number of properties all around the world. In addition to his luxurious lifestyle, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum of Dubai is a renowned philanthropist. He has donated billions of dollars to charity and is also a patron of the arts and has supported many of Dubai's most prominent cultural projects. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum of Dubai is a symbol of the modern Middle East. His business acumen, philanthropy, and luxurious lifestyle have made him one of the most influential and respected Arab kings in the world. King Abdullah II of Jordan is the son of the late King Hussein and Princess Muna and ascended the throne in 1999. Abdullah has an estimated net worth of $750 million and has made significant reforms in the country and is seen as a moderate leader who has opened up the country to the outside world. He is known to spend millions on property in America America. Between 2014 and 2017, the king is known to have spent a staggering $70 million on three adjacent homes overlooking the Pacific Ocean in Southern California. He also spent about $10 million on luxury condominiums with scenic views of the Potomac River in Georgetown. King Abdullah also owns properties near Buckingham Palace in London. It is estimated that he has spent about $106 million on 14 luxury properties that are held by shell companies registered in his name. King Abdullah II of Jordan is also a car enthusiast and inherited a car collection from his father, the late King Hussein. The king built a car museum called the Royal Automobile Museum in the memory of his late father. It was established in 2003, located in the capital, Amman. The museum displays 80 cars and motorcycles belonging to King Hussein, some vintage cars dating back to 1909. The collection includes BMW M1 1978, 2009 Mercedes SLR Sterling Moss, Aston Martin DB5 1964, Porsche Carrera GT 2003, 2005 Bugatti 
Ducati Veyron, 1970s Mercedes-Benz 600 Grosser Pullman, a 1954 Rolls-Royce Phantom 4, and a 1949 Buick Roadmaster Convertible, among others. King Hussein did have great taste in luxury cars, and King Abdullah II is keeping that taste alive by adding more supercars to the museum. King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of Bahrain is a man of luxury and opulence. He has an estimated net worth of $5 billion. A leader of the small island country, King Hamad is the head of state, the supreme commander of the Bahrain Defense Force, and a patron of the arts and culture. As a result of his position, King Hamad enjoys a luxurious lifestyle with access to a fleet of super cars, a private yacht, and extravagant vacations. The king lives in a stunning and luxurious palace in Bahrain, the Al Sakir Palace, with other members of the Bahrain royal family. He has two private Boeing 747 jets, the customized interiors of which cost more than $100 million. He also owns two motor yachts, the CRN Al Waili and the 110-meter Lawson yacht Al Raya. King Ahmad's wealth and influence have allowed him to enjoy an impressive lifestyle. He is a free frequent visitor to some of the most exclusive destinations in the world, from the Caribbean to the Middle East. King Hamad is also an avid fan of motor racing and is often seen attending the Bahrain Grand Prix and other events. The king is also known as a fan of fine food and is known for hosting lavish dinner parties. He's also an avid collector of art, with his collection including pieces from around the world. King Ahmad has also been known to host exclusive parties and events, inviting some of the world's most famous celebrities and politicians. King Mohammed VI of Morocco is one of the wealthiest, most lavish living monarchs in the world, with an estimated net worth of $2.5 billion. As a leader of a major oil-producing nation, his life lifestyle reflects the wealth of the country and his luxurious palaces and vacations are a testament to his opulent lifestyle. The king lives in the resplendent Dar al Maksen Palace in Rabat. Its official name is the El Meshuar Said Palace, which translates to Venue of Happiness Palace. This huge and stunning palace has a mosque, a cookery school, and a college royale. This in-house college is used by the senior members of the Moroccan royal family for education. The palace also has scenic gardens that are designed with both French and Arab influences. King Mohammed has another palace in the city of Fez and a summer palace in Agadir with scenic views of the Atlantic Ocean. He loves to splurge on exquisite properties and according to reports, he bought a mega mansion from a Saudi royal family member near the Eiffel Tower for an eye-watering $100 million. He's also converted many of his grand palaces into hotels that bring in a whopping $100 million in profits every year year. In terms of travel, the king is well known for his love of luxury. He has been known to travel in private jets, helicopters, and luxury yachts, often accompanied by a large entourage. He regularly takes vacations, and the family's favorite vacation spot is Greece. The king is also an avid collector of art and antiques. He has amassed an impressive art collection, featuring works from some of the world's most renowned painters, sculptors, and photographers. He is also a passionate supporter of traditional Moroccan arts and crafts, and has established a number of art and cultural centers throughout the country. The richest Arab kings in the world truly are the epitome of luxury living. And if you'd like to gain some more inspiration from such lavish lifestyles of the rich and famous, click in one of the cards on your screen.